Hey guys, and welcome back to the showroom floor here at Bowl Expo 2017. And I'm joined with the Twin Towers and uh, us regular guys here in the middle, right? Yes, the short people. Yeah, we're the yeah, oh yeah, we're the mini towers. All right, so we're here in the Storm Rotor Grip booth to talk about some of the new releases we've got going on. So we're joined by one of our favorites here, Mr. Schlim. Hey, what's up? How's it going, everybody? We're also joined by, well, we have the Bearded Beasts. Now we have the Big Nasty, Mr. Wes Malott. Or King of Bowling, same difference. Yeah, I, I've, heard, I've heard that once or twice. And Mr. Anthony Simonson. The little guy. <laughs> little guy? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so um, we saw four new balls come out. Yeah, so we've got the uh, coming out in August. We've got the No Rules Exist. We've got the Hot Sell. We've got the Show Off, and we've got the new Hustle Link. So, wow. So, uh, have you guys already thrown this stuff? I've been able to throw the Show Off and the No Rules Exist. For Wes. So, what do you think of the Show Off? Uh, I think that ball's gonna be in my bag everywhere, and it's gonna be in play on all the patterns. Uh, you know, during the demos yesterday. I was able to throw them a little straighter, you know, move in, get them to corner, having no problems, and you know, that's a piece that I think is going to be very, very versatile, and I'm going to take it everywhere. And what about the no rules exist? Uh, no rules exist. I mean, had great success with the original no rules and the no rules pearl. Uh, now we've taken the same core and wrapped it with a, a straight, solid reactive cover stock. So compared to say the, the original no rules, uh, a little cleaner through the front, a little bit more motion down lane, which is I mean, it's kind of like, to me, it, it reminds me of like a hybrid cover stock in a way, uh, which is, to me, the most versatile cover stocks on the market because you kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, obviously, the cover's very easily tweaked to give you pretty much whatever kind of motion you're wanting to go with. Awesome. Now, there's one that I have seen a lot of chatter, especially today, about, and that is the hot cell. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about that, Schlem? Um Yeah, so it's round. <laughs> uh, it's red. I put orange logo. No. Um, uh, hot sell, uh, you know, that's something I've been working on, uh, been wanting to do for a while now. Um, because, and these guys know, as they, th you know, Anthony throws urethane a little bit more than Wes does. Um, you know, if you don't have a certain style of play, it doesn't matter what manufacturer you have with a urethane ball. The, uh, the thing is, the, the super high rev rates can use them, or the guys that throw them really hard can use them. There's a big gap of people in between that. And a lot of conditions, and we were actually we were just talking with some other tour guys over there. We we're talking to, uh, we, oh, we had uh, Dick Allen, and we had uh, Ronnie Russell over there. We we're just chatting about the, some of the, not only the tour stuff, but the international tournaments, and then even the USBC. Some of these, some of these patterns now, even the distances, whether they're shorter or longer, the volumes are getting less. So you can get away sometimes using urethane more often than not. And so filling that gap and actually having a urethane ball that drives through the pins a little bit different, that was the thinking behind it. And you know, originally. I'll tell you guys, my, my plan was, you know, I sat down, I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, I'm like, man, I want to do an asymmetric urethane. And so I was talking to Hank and Victor, and I got like, man, what do you guys think of doing like a no rules with a urethane cover? And so we started doing dynamics and stuff like that, and, and urethane's tricky, you gotta make sure that it picks up in a region right spot. And so we, we all agreed that, you know, because of the shape and everything like that, that the cell would be a good part. And so when we did our initial testing, you know, Alex Hoskins, the kid that made the show at the Masters, yep. He's not a fan of urethane. You know, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have a big rev rate, and he doesn't throw it super hard. And he's like, Schlim, I can't use urethane. So he drilled the first test ball up and had him throw it. I said, What do you think? He goes, Man, I threw like an 18 bagger. Like this doesn't hit like a urethane ball. I said, Well, that was the idea. You're that guy. And even what our other staff, one of our other staffers, our sales guys for us, uh, Andres Gomez, same thing. Andres, you know, he's like, Man, I drilled 10 pitch blacks. Schlim, I had one that was kind of okay. Again. Not a big high rev guy, not a big ball speed guy, so he's excited about that type of thing. So yeah, it's, it's we're really excited, and obviously the masses are excited too to have have a urethane ball with a little bit more punch on the inside. So, absolutely. Now, uh, is this another one that's going to go directly into your bag? Uh, this one, I actually told told Slim to go ahead and send me a couple. Uh, you know, before they, yeah, I'm trying to get them. Uh, I've been using the pitch blacks a lot, and you know, at times I kind of get trapped where I, some of the patterns I can't you can't get into the reactive balls uh, as early as I'd like. Uh, but I kind of have to just tweak with the pitch black, and I think you know the hot cell is going to fit right in there. Where something I'm going to be able to use, you know, longer into the blocks, and something I'm going to be able to open up my angles a little bit more within the pitch black. Awesome. Well, 
Is there anything else you guys would like to say to the fans out there who uh, haven't been able to make it out here to a bowl expo before? Should they be coming out here and, and seeing what's going on? Yeah, I mean, it, as we said yesterday when we opened up, uh, you know, every year these booths out here, you know, they're going through change, just as I said uh, bowling does, innovation and everything. Um, just as this year we have the, the big chrome uh, ball with the weight block and everything, uh, you know, a whole new booth setups. And a lot of companies are making those changes too. John, too, a big video wall. Everybody, that's been kind of the talk of the, of the show. I know people come over, it's like, oh, you guys got like a big screen TV. You're like, well, it's 10 feet tall and like 20 foot wide. So, so it's so it's slim sized. Uh, yes, slim sized. I appreciate that. Yeah, so, you know, again, just a lot of, a lot of change, a lot of innovation. Uh, especially if you've never made it out, I would recommend at least coming it out, coming out one time and, and checking it out. Um, I mean, if you got some downtime, uh, there's a lot of video games you can stop and play. Uh, we always make it over to the red car red carpet where they're they've got food going on. I even though I, I found out yesterday, it's uh, I guess it's the 50th anniversary of Icy. Had a watermelon Icy to get that down. So a lot of good stuff going on, and you know, obviously. Uh, people like myself and Anthony, a lot of pros are out here. So, if, you know, for the pro shops or just fans of bowling, you know, come out and meet us, get autographs, do whatever you'd like. I mean, that's that's why we're here. We're here to uh, basically do sign anything and, and do anything that uh, you want to to a certain extent, obviously. Awesome. Now I got one more question for you. Brock Lesnar or Samoa Joe? Oh man. The Beast Incarnate versus the Samoan Submission. Yeah. Oh. You know, I've been watching a little bit more lately, and I would have to go that you got to think they're making a push on Samoa Joe, but I got to say the Beast is uh, nobody's seen him for a while, and he's looking a little bit more jacked, like you went back to working out a little bit more. Got a feeling they're going to make a run with him, and, uh, you know, because they keep saying that it's an imaginary title because nobody gets to see it. Yeah. So I think Brock's going to have to uh, carry that on for a little while. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go back out on the floor and see, see what else is going on here at Bowl Expo 2017. guys that about wraps it up for another show if you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more don't forget to follow us on facebook at Lanside reviews or click below you can also subscribe to our youtube channel or click on the box or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again you can click on the other box and don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at logoinfusion.com so until next time guys we'll see you lane side